So first of all I just wanna apologize for not making any videos for the last few weeks but I've been pretty busy on my job. Uh, there was a project that de demanded a lot of my time so I wasn't able to record these tutorials. But that project is currently winding down and I have a bit more time so I expect at least one video a week uh, for the next few weeks and then I get back to my usual schedule of three or four videos a week. In this video we are going to be talking about repeater fields for October CMS. The repeater field is actually a set of fields that you can repeat throughout your model. So the obvious uh, way that we could use them in our case, since we were dealing with movies, is actors. So the movie would have many actors and those actors would have a name, last name, age, date of birth and so on. So let's create that. We are going to go to our builder plugin. Uh, go to your movie or whatever plugin you're working on and first of all all we are going to go to our database and create a new field and I'm going to add a new column and call it actors okay it's going to be type of let's say text but it doesn't matter uh, and it's going to be nullable so you don't have to fill it out and let's just save this Okay, save and apply and we got a new column in our database. Next thing we go to models, go to fields for our movies and then we add new field and use a widget called repeater. Click on it and I'm going to call that field actors. Of course, the label is also going to be actors. Okay, and as you can see, you can add more fields to the repeater field. So I'm going to add one more field. It's going to be text. And it's going to be called actor name. Okay. And let's add one more field and I'm going to call this one actor age okay now that we have this uh, we just save it then oh, we will go to movies go to inception and right here you have this actors field and if you click add new item you would get two more fields, so actor name and actor age. And let's add just one more. Okay, and now if we go to save and close, we will get this uh, exception. So it says unaccepted type of array should attribute actors be JSONable. So this is actually the solution to our problem. We have to make the actors field JSONable. So to do that, you would go to your code editor. You go to plugins, watch learn, models, and then you open up movie.php or movie model. And now right here, you have to make actors field JSONable. So to do that you just write protected JSONable actors like this. Okay so uh, right now our actors field is JSONable and I will show you what the JSONable actually means uh, in the database. So if I go right here click OK and click save and close Now our Inception movie is saved and the actors are also saved. Okay, so let's see in the database how that JSONable field looks. Since we are using SQL Lite for this, I'm using SQL Lite browser uh, to check out my database. So as you can see, these are all the fields actually or the tables that we are having in our database. And right here is watch learn movies table. 
So if we go to browse the data and choose watch learn movies, you can see right here inception, uh, the slug is inception and then you can see this actors field. And as you can see, it looks like this. So this is kind of an object with an object inside it. And uh, you have actor's name, Leonardo DiCaprio, actor's age and so on. And you have uh, number two, you have actor name Ellen Page and actor age 33. So this is how uh, this repeater field looks in the database. So now let's display that data uh, on our website. On our movie single.htm file, I'm going to try to display the actors uh, below the description. So we have description right here. And now we create actors title. Okay, so you of course can't display those actors just like this. If I try to do that, so record actors and save it, go to my page and try to refresh it, I would get an exception. So you can't do that because uh, array to string conversion. So let's look at our actors. So to look at them, you can just do dump and see what that uh, field actually looks like. So as you can see, uh, our fields are actually array with two fields in it. So actor name and actor age. So to display them, you would just have to uh, iterate them through for each loop. So to do that, we just do So for actor in record dot actors, and then we can display all the data that we need. So to display the actor's name, we can just do actor dot actor name. Save this, check it out. And as you can see, Leonardo DiCaprio and Ellen Page. Also, you can do the same thing for actor's age. And now you have Leonardo DiCaprio 40 and Ellen Page 33. Of course, you can put that in some UL tag with LI tags in it and then display them one below the other if you want. Okay, so this is the way that you would use uh, repeater fields in October CMS. Of course, this is not the best way to approach the actors issue. What would be better if we had, uh, let's say, a database of actors that we can attach to our movie. Uh, I hope that we are going to be getting to that in the next few episodes. So creating actors as a separate entity or separate model and then attaching them to our movie, kind of like genres, but with a different type of widget. <clears throat> so for genres, we had, <clears throat> I'm sorry, checkboxes. And uh, for actors, I would have, I would rather have something like, uh, I don't know, uh, auto completing input field that I can, I can just start typing the actor's name and then add a few actors in that field. So I hope that we are going to be able to do that during this series. Okay, so this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Please follow me on Facebook or Twitter if you want. If you like this video, please like it. If you like the content I put out, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode.